Hey guys, Bunny Ames here, making another top 10. We're back at it. So, I need suggestions, of course, in the comments down below for the next top 10 after this one. Because we are done all the weapons. I'm probably going to do a Worst Wonder Weapons video too. Because the top 10 worst guns really can't apply to Wonder Weapons. I put, I think, a couple in there. But I want to have a strict Wonder Weapons worst. And maybe even a strict rep guns worst. I'm not sure. Except top 10 worst weapons, top 10 worst weapons. But also, um, I'd like to point out that if you um, wonder why so many of the good Wonder Weapons and Cold Games are on this list, this is a little bit of an opinion, and also based on if I've used them recently, and don't worry, they definitely deserve to be on the list, it's just these are the ones I think deserve to be on the list. Also, I'm going to have a clip of one of the Wonder Weapons in the Animal Dimension, it's just going to be one of them, I'm not going to actually put them all on, but I'll put photos of the Wonder Weapons, and I'll put it in the Animal Dimension on screen, so if there's like 5 seconds as, like, as I name them. Um, but, uh, don't, one, but there's also, I'm gonna limit it to two origin stabs and one derived direct bow. So that, because otherwise they take up the list mainly. Two origin stabs and one derived direct bow. That's what I'm limited to. Anyway guys, enjoy this top 10. Number 10. Coming in at number 10 guys, we have the Paralyzer. So, why would I put this in at number 1 when, number 10, I mean. Jeez. I don't want to make any mistakes, but why would I put it in number 10 if it's actually a good weapon and it has infinite ammo? Well, uh, there's other better wonder weapons. It's only available on Buried. Only a few weapons in this front of, on this list will be available on multiple maps. So, you know. Um, but the thing is, this gun has infinite ammo, technically, but it's a charge period where you have to charge it up and let it do its thing. Um, it's good for um, the bank plus Vulturade. Um, and good for camping by Jug and multiplayer, but it takes forever to kill zombies, even pack a punch, even the petrifier slow. So that's the reason why it comes at number ten. It's the paralyzer. <laughs> number nine. Coming at number nine, we have the wave gun, not the zap gun. The zap gun is a weaker ray gun, and in my opinion, it definitely uh, doesn't deserve to be on this list with the big heavy hitters. But the wave gun does. So what the wave gun does is it. First, you shoot it, all the zombies' red eyes go completely red, like darker than Blood of, Blood of the Dead slash Mob of the Dead red. Unless, I'm not sure if Blood of the Dead red is right, but, um, where they're like really dark, and it's like they're bleeding from their eyes, and then they float in the air, and then they pop with a microwave ding sound. Um, I would play it, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the audio for it. Um, but if you wanna know, the Smith Plays, I think, is done like had a top 10 wonder weapons and have this thing on there so if you want to check them out you can do that but so basically that's really what the wave gun does the zap gun is basically like a ray gun in a way where it shoots it almost like a mini wonder walk that shoots electric charge but it doesn't like chain on so it's like a mini wonder walk you have to shoot it each time this gun is an infinite killing weapon but the ammo holds it back yeah there you go there's the proof that the zap gun does what it does but it's like a wonder walk without the chain link Anyway, guys, comes at number nine. It's the wait, the wave gun. Number eight, coming in at number eight, we have the old-fashioned thunder gun. So, I mean, is there really a reason why this wouldn't be on the list? It's pretty simple. You point and shoot, and everything's gone. It's really all this gun is. But like, I'm gonna go elaborate on it just so it can be a true butter gaming top ten where I actually elaborate on every weapon and not just you know say boom it's done. So basically this gun is an infinite killing weapon as well. So what it does is it sh shoots a big wave of energy, like example right there, and it makes everything fly away and kills it right away. So it's like you it's like the wind staff. It's like the power of wind except taken to another level. Um of course, um this weapon is lower on the list because the ammo is limited. So it's more of a safety weapon than a weapon you used to get to high rounds with. So if you want to get to a high round, I mean, you can do it, but you're going to need to max ammo constantly, even more than every five rounds. So, coming in at number eight, it's the Thunder Gun. Number seven. Coming in at number seven, guys, we have the Ray Gun Mark III. So this definitely is the second most powerful Ray Gun in 
in my opinion, and statistically, is the second most powerful. So, it's not per se a ray gun, as it's much as it's its own weapon, but it's considered the Rega Mark III, so, or the GKZ Mark III, I think is what it's actually called. Um, I can't remember exactly what they go rotten so long. So, what this gun is, is the right gun is a ray gun, and the left gun is a black hole creator. And you use the ray gun when you shoot the black hole, and you get a bit better black hole that sucks everything in and then kills you. It definitely gets you to around, like, around round 70, I think it starts capping where it starts becoming not as powerful and definitely weaker. Um, obviously the ray gun side is good for probably like round 20, but the left side plus the ray gun side is probably good to round that or that round, but unless you get headshots with the ray gun side, it's going to be pretty weak, especially on round 50, as you can see here. It's pretty weak. Um, it's not like just a one-shot anymore. It's a real strong weapon. It's the ray gun Mark III comes in at number 7. Number 6. Coming in at number 6, you guys are going to all hate me, but it's the Ice Stab. So there's going to be two stabs on this list, and this is the worser of the two in personal opinion. That's the meaning how it came down to, to what kind of staff I use. Personally, there's probably, personally, I like the other staff better, but I guarantee you a lot of you like this staff better, and there's a reason. So this staff is really good at killing zombies. Not good for panthers like the uh, lightning and fire staff, it's good for killing zombies. So it's regular shot, freezes zombies, takes a minute to, um... Uh, freeze them completely before they can't move and they just like fall down and die. The charge shot makes a storm full of ice and wind basically pretty exactly right here and it freezes them all and kills them all real quickly. It's, that's really what the ice gas is better for. It, it, it's got the, sorry for stuttering, it's got the third least ammo. I think the fire staff lightning have the, lightning staff has the most, fire staff has the second most and the wind staff is the least. Um, this is the third most, and if you guys want to use this staff, it's really easy to get. You just got to dig it up and dig sites when it's snowing. Comes in at number eight, six. It's the ice staff. Number five. Coming in at number five, we have the Vitrolic Withering. So, as the Smith Plays call this, calls this, you really can't die with this gun. It's part of the invincibility combo. If you get Jug, Speed Cola, Electric Cherry, double tap. The shield in this gun, it's if you if you get trapped in the corner, you can sit there for like until the zombies are there. Apparently it's not easy to die with. I haven't used this on mob because every time I try to get it, someone else gets it before me and I can't get it. And every time I play solos, it takes forever to get it out of the box, and by the time I get it, I already have a really good setup of weapons, so I don't really want to waste a weapon slot for it. This weapon is a real strong weapon. It shoots monkey bombs, essentially. That's um, why it's really strong also, because it brings all the zombies in. This gun is half pack-a-punch and half a buildable. You have to build the parts, you have to get the parts, build the acid gat, and then pack-a-punch it to get this, or the sweeper, and then build in and get the patrol weapon. Either way, it's a real strong weapon. It comes at number five, it's the patrol weapon. Number four. Coming at number four, is, which is our only weapon on the system, is on all my kids on multiple maps, the Rega Mark II. So, the Rega Mark II obviously is better than the Ray Gun. It's actually got a real high headshot damage. I think you can get to around 100 in headshots, still one little pellet of the Ray Gun will one shot it. But the reason why this weapon is only at number four is because there are better weapons in it. But it's at 4 because it's real strong, available on all maps if you buy Buried, in Black Ops 3, in any Chronicle map in Black Ops 3. It's a real quick firing weapon, you have to, you have to tap fire though, you have to like quickly tap it, you have to have a good trigger finger because it's a burst. But it's one of the strongest wonder weapons in the game, and it's definitely a step up from the regular ray gun. This gun has got um, limited ammo, considering how fast you shoot it, so you're going to want to be conservative of your ammo, not just waste it all, so you're going to want to save it for bigger hordes, and more stronger, harder, like, bosses, and it's good for training, so it comes in at number four, it is the Vega Mark II, number three. Coming in at number three, guys, we have the Lightning Stack. So, personally, I like this one more, uh, mainly because I've gotten more use out of it, and less out of the Ice Staff, but here's why I prefer the Lightning Staff. The tap, the single fire on early rounds, like round about 30, is a one-shot kill. You just shoot it, and they're out of your way. 
Especially in Black Ops 3, I think they buffed it. Its charge shot is like a weaker Wonder Waff, so that's not so great, but the regular shot is real strong. But it, like I said, round 30, it starts to slow down. It's got the most ammo, it's really good for killing Panzers, not as good as the Fire Staff. I've seen the Fire Staff like pretty much one tap everything. It's pretty broken, but I still think the Lightning Staff is better. Um, and it's a really good training weapon with Stand Em Up, of course, because it's Origins. But it comes in at number 3, it's the Lightning Staff. Number two. Coming in at number two, we have the Stormbow. Why is this higher than the stabs? I don't know, it's better. Well, if you want to be technical about it, this is stronger. It's the Ice Staff, up the Charge Shot of the Wind Staff, and the Lightning Staff combined. It takes the Storm Element of the Charged, charged Wind and Ice Staff, and it takes the Lightning Aspect of the Lightning Staff and makes it the Stormbow. It's a real strong bow, really high rounder here. If you want to get to high rounds, you can use this thing. As you can see, it's a real strong one. And I'm round 50, it's still easily killing zombies. So it's a, it doesn't have a cap it charged at round 50, but it's single shot. I'm pretty sure it gets pretty weak at this point. You're going to have to charge your shots. And you don't have to reload it, so all you got to do is keep an eye out for max ammo to get your ammo back. But... The reason why this isn't number one is because even though it is a good safety weapon, real high round weapon, this next weapon does everything for you. The honorable mention. But before we get to that, guys, I would like to do, add a few honorable mentions, which are the Ray Gun, the Wonder Walk, the Fire Staff, and the Slip of Fire. So the Ray Gun, I mean, it's the Ray Gun. I want to, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give it credit, it's the Ray Gun. The slip of fire is a lot like the Wonder Walk, except in a different way. It makes you slip instead of electrocute. The um, fire staff, we all know what the fire staff does. It just burns everything in its path. And there's why it's on the honorable mention. And then the Wonder Walk, it's the Wonder Walk. It does electric damage. Those are the honorable mentions. Let's get to number one. Number one. Coming in at number one, guys, we have the King of All Wonder Weapons, the Apothecary Serpent. So this gun is just a back black hole shooter, that's all it is, so you can use it any way you can camp with it, you can train with it, you can literally down yourself and then camp with it. It doesn't matter what you do, you're going to kill all the guns in your way with it because it's an infinite killing weapon. It's got a decent amount of ammo for the damage it does, like it has yeah, so probably about like 15 bullets, or black holes, plus the one you start with in your clip, um, cheese, your whatever the thing you call it. And it is a one shot forever, so you can't die with this thing unless you suck at zombies and you purposely down yourself. Comes in number one, guys, the king of all wonder weapons, it's the Apothecary Servant. <laughs> 